So what are we doing Tracy? So yesterday we went to a really nice little bakery in Pike Place and I got a cheesecake <clears throat> but we were a bit tired when we got back last night so and it's quite late after our sunset sale so I'm having it for breakfast uh, it's a New York cheesecake super and what are we doing today apart from eating cheesecake okay so while Tracy munches on that cheesecake that's a big bite of cheesecake we've had there so while Tracy, Tracy munches on the cheesecake, let me tell you what our plan is for today. So we've got a travel day today, but when I, we're headed to Anchorage in Alaska. But when I looked on Skyscanner and all the booking sites uh, for flights, there was a huge difference in price, like a really big difference between flights that went at a sensible time during the day and flights that went a little bit later at night. Like we're talking hundreds of pounds and, and dollars between like 200 compared to 400. So for that reason, we're flying a little bit later. We're flying at nine o'clock from Seattle, Tacoma, SeaTac, I think they call it, up to Ted Stevens International Airport in Anchorage. That means, as we're flying quite late, we're going to put our bags in uh, Bag B&B. I don't know if people have used that. That's a great little uh, app and website for storing your bags. We're going to pop them in a souvenir shop here that will look after them for the day. And we're going to go take a walk. We're going to be a little bit more at High Place later today, I guess. Uh, maybe a little bit more breakfast and then in the afternoon we're going to go and explore a little bit around the, the Space Needle area. Um, Trace is a huge Frasier fan uh, and we've seen that she's seen the Space Needle in the, in the intro to it and I just like big tall weird buildings so it should be a nice little day out. Four seconds traveling at five miles per hour so everybody take a look at that beautiful view and now it's gone thank you for coming everyone <laughs> now I'm just kidding there it is again so you're looking at downtown Seattle directly in front of us it's a bustling busy city it's one of the fastest growing cities in the United States right now which is why you can see about 60 construction cranes around there and you can see there's four new buildings being built in the skyline right now uh, did you know that 40% of the real estate of downtown Seattle is owned by Amazon? Yeah. Eventually they will own the entire city of Seattle. It's just a matter of time. Now, the observation deck where I'm going to drop you off is the 520 foot level, or the 158 meter level. The total height of the building is 607 feet, or 184 meters. And we did recently undergo renovation, which was worth uh, $120 million. So, that's all the time I have for you guys. Enjoy your time up here, and come down anytime before midnight. We're at the top of the Space Needle, and over there is downtown.
we were at the Space Needle this morning is absolutely fantastic. We had quite a bit of coffee and things, so it's time for, uh, for a bit of food. Um, I'm sure we can take a look around. I read the fact that Ghana can get quite expensive for your quite touristy, so I had a Google to find some of the places that will maybe a bit cheaper and represent a better value. So uh, one of the ones I found was uh, Which is the type of place where it's not quite a holiday wall, it's more of a counter that you can't go in and sit down. But apparently the journals are at the top of the page. About $9, I've got a chicken version here. Yeah. I was quite excited. There we go. I was quite excited to be there because I got pretty full. Yesterday we were pretty full. I've got like, my corn dog and my tacos and <laughs> trades and other oysters and stuff. So we're back to lunch today. What a good day. Yeah. Good.